Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Is your iPhone stuck on the recovery mode screen? There are several common reasons why this happens, but there's no need to worry, as it's usually an easy fix. In this video, I narrow down the three most effective solutions for getting your iPhone out of recovery mode. Let's go. Usually. If you are experiencing glitches or errors with your iPhone, the common solution is to perform a force restart. Keep in mind though, that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID, such as iPhone X, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons, respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. If your iPhone is still stuck in recovery mode even after you have tried a force restart, another solution that often works for many users is to let the battery drain completely. Once it's fully dead, charge your device for at least 30 minutes. If it doesn't start automatically, try rebooting your iPhone manually. When you're trying to fix most common iOS issues, it's often much simpler to use a third-party repair tool. And this particular software I recommend offers a one-stop solution to fix problems like frozen screens, restart issues, and exiting recovery mode quickly without pressing any combination of buttons. Does this sound interesting? Then you can use my link below to download the software and enjoy a free trial the first time you use it. After you install the software on your computer, connect your iPhone using an original or MFI certified cable to make sure your device is recognized. For issues where your screen is stuck in recovery mode, this software offers two different ways to fix it. Let's start with the easy and completely free way to do it. Once your iPhone is connected, the software will automatically detect when it's in recovery mode. Simply click Exit under the Recovery Mode section on the main dashboard. In about a minute, your iOS device will reboot to its normal state. But what if your iPhone remains stuck in recovery mode? Don't worry, another option that should work now is to use the software's built-in iOS repair tool. This tool offers two ways to repair iOS issues. Standard Repair deals with common and minor problems like the black screen of death or boot loops, which won't affect your data. Deep Repair, on the other hand, fixes more complex iOS issues but will erase all your data. For now, let's try the Standard Repair, as it can usually fix iOS problems quickly. On the next screen, you need to download the latest firmware package that's compatible with your device. However, if you already have a firmware package downloaded elsewhere, just click Import Local File to select it manually. Keep in mind that the download may take some time depending on your internet speed, as the file is around 5 gigabytes. After successfully downloading or importing the firmware, you can start the standard repair. The entire process will take a few minutes, so please be patient. Once it's finished, your iPhone will restart automatically, resolving the issue while keeping all your data intact. If the initial standard repair doesn't work, you can try the process again until the problem is fixed. Or you might consider using Deep Repair for a higher chance of success. Just remember that Deep Repair will completely erase your data, so it's best to use it if you have a recent backup. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.